Well, the whole purpose of this uh, research that we're doing on transformational leadership is to talk to as many leaders from diverse backgrounds in industries uh, and sectors as well as in the public sector and civil society to try and understand what are the essential attributes of transformational leadership that are timeless. Uh, because we understand that in an environment of continuous convulsive change, uh, that in a world that is uh, technology laden, the pace of change, the amplitude uh, and speed of change will continue to increase. And so what we're doing is gleaning these lessons of transformational leadership to be able to transfer them to the next generation so that they can move up to speed quickly. The um, requirement for transformational leadership is to understand when the assumptions, as Peter Drucker used to say, on which the organization was built uh, and is run no longer fit reality. And that is increasingly the case today because of the convergence of all of these forces of change which are compelling organizations to move quickly. And if you look through the obituaries of failed companies, Kodak, Blockbuster, Nokia's mobile telephony, it's all because those companies didn't see a change in the theory of business. So what we advocate in the Global Business Policy Council of AT Kearney is the need to look out over the horizon through the aggressive use of scenario planning uh, and other kinds of dynamic planning uh, protocols to be able to anticipate change so that you can get out ahead of the curve. And that's what we believe organizations need to do and in the process to be wary of not falling into the decision traps which cloud one's vision and ability to be able to understand and capitalize on change. As we talk to successful transformational leaders all over the world, the one trait that continues to come through as fundamental to any leadership, public, private, civil sector, is trust. And trust is not just authenticity. We all talk about the need for leaders to say what they mean and mean what they say. That's table stakes. That's absolutely necessary, but not sufficient. In order for a leader to engender trust, to be able to align stakeholders to embrace a different course of action to transform an organization, they also have to be capable of executing against that vision and they have to be reliable in having done this kind of execution and delivery on promise in the past. And it's the combination of authenticity, capability, and reliability that engenders the trust that is fundamental to all of the other things that a transformational leader needs to do to be successful.